So we all know that this iPhone 15 Pro Max is the biggest and the baddest iPhone we have right now. But of course, for those people who wants a big screen and a battery that will last longer, pero ayaw magbayad ng presyo ng iPhone 15 Pro Max, we have here the iPhone for you. Hey guys, it's your tech girl Mary and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Yes, worth it ang pag-aantay ng isang linggo because finally, here is our full review of the iPhone 15 Plus in pink. This year, the new Plus model gets a few new features that brings it closer to the Pro Max model. Mas refined yung kanyang design. It also now has a dynamic island, lighter weight siya compared to the Pro Max, of course, a newer and faster chip, a big camera upgrade, and of course, we have the USB-C. So if we were to compare yung 14 plus to the 15 plus now, which is what I'm holding right now in purple. For me, there are enough improvements. Kasi kung maaalala nyo yung 13 before to the 14, medyo disappointing talaga yung mga upgrades. I'm not sure then kung happy yung mga purple fans natin dyan because we no longer have that color this time. They change it to pink and that is what I chose to review for our video. But of course, before we fully start, gusto ko muna magpasalamat sa ating sponsor of today's video. Yes, tama kayo, Converge. Now that I'm finally, finally back in our studio, syempre, mas mapapadali na yung trabaho natin. Sunod-sunod ang ating mga review videos for the following days. And of course, with that, I need a reliable and stable internet connection. Again, it is the perfect home and business ISP for that seamless internet connection. Kaya kung kayo yung tipo ng tao na naghahanap ng more value and more speed, itry nyo yung bagong-bago nilang Fiber X. Meron silang Fiber X 1,500 pesos to 7,499 pesos plan. Of course, this depends kung gano'ng kalaki yung bahay nyo, depende sa budget nyo, and of course, particular needs. So, huwag nyo kalimutang i-click yung link sa ating description box kung gusto nyo mag-apply ng bagong internet from Converge. If you're following me on TikTok, you guys probably have seen a lot of unboxing videos from me. But to those who haven't yet, yes, wala naman kayong... Anything special na dapat makita dito except of course yung ating charging cable which is now braided. So yes, I am kinda expecting that this will last longer compared dun sa mga previous cables that we get na alam nyo na mabilis maputol or masira. So let's start with its design. As you can see, itong 15 Plus and even the regular 15 still has the dual camera on the left. Although, kung mapapansin nyo, yung back nito is now color-infused glass with a choice of soft colors like yung blue, yellow, green, black, and of course, the pink that I have. The chassis is still made of aluminum, pero kung mapapansin nyo, medyo mas rounder yung edges this time. Making, of course, the phone nicer to hold. Kaya sa mga taong hindi pala gamit ng case, definitely it's more comfortable kung ikukumpara ko noon dito sa 14 plus. But of course, immediately, you'll notice in terms of its display, malaki yung pinagkaiba nila. Because now, with the 15 plus and the 15, we now get a dynamic island na hindi kasama previously sa ating mga 14 units. Although, do take note sa mga nag expect ng massive upgrades sa dynamic island now, it still is the same but it gives the phone a unique look compared sa mga Android devices. It is useful especially for reminding purposes or anything that is happening in the background. Mapatimer man ito, playing music, or even grab application letting you know when your driver is arriving. But of course, if you are like the vast majority of iPhone users, like me, who will buy the iPhone 15 or the 15 Plus and immediately put a case on it, pwede nyo nang kalimutan lahat ng sinabi ko in terms of its infused glass and colors. Dito papasok yung tanong ng iilan sa inyo kung worth it bang bumili ng pink iPhone 15 or 15 Plus even though you guys have a budget for the Pro and Pro Max. For me guys, kung ako lang naman ang tatanungin nyo para sa decision making na hindi nyo pa rin magawagawa until now, I wouldn't say it's worth it to trade off those pro specs 
for the pink colorway. Lalong lalo na if you guys are coming from the 14 Pro, 14 Pro Max, and then biglang downgrade to a regular 15 just to get that pink color. So yes, this is your sign. You might wanna think again. Sadly, dito sa ating mga regular 15, the customizable action button is missing. We still have the old mute switch. To be honest, from the past days that I've been using my Pro, eto guys, I'll be very honest with you, hindi ko pa rin napapalitan until now yung ating action button. It still is the mute switch for me. So yes, medyo hindi pa gaan ng big deal sa akin yung bago action button. Lalong-lalo na na hindi pa tayo pwedeng mag-assign ng double or triple click functions sa kanya. Now, Inside the iPhone 15 is, of course, the A16 Bionic chip, which is present sa mga Pro models natin last year. Even though we did not get the A17 Pro, for me, guys, it still is one of the fastest mobile chip you can get right now. Actually, it, this will still serve you two to three years. Although, ngayon, hindi po sinabi ni Apple, guys, kung gano'ng karami yung RAM na meron tayo dito, but when it comes to iPhones, they handle RAM and multitasking really well. Kaya hindi rin ito masyadong big deal. But sadly guys, the 15 and the 15 Plus feels really slow. This is of course coming from someone who is also using the Pros. The display is only 60Hz maximum, which is obviously different from the ProMotion displays that we got from the Pro and Pro Max. Comparing it side by side really reveals how important it is. Everything just feels so much smoother on the Pro displays. So kung na-experience nyo na ang ProMotion display, the difference will be so noticeable. But if you've never used a 120Hz display, I don't think you will mind the lower refresh rate on this iPhone 15 Plus. Now, another thing that is missing guys with the iPhone 15 is the always-on display. Personally, hindi ko to masyadong hinana. But of course, it is something to consider pa rin. To those curious, yung standby na new feature natin. This does work, though without the always-on, medyo pointless siya. Kailangan yung itap or itouch yung display nyo para lumabas yung standby mode. Now, on the other side, brightness-wise, it now goes up to 2,000 nits, which does make a difference. While I was in Hong Kong making or taking sample shots, in fairness, very visible pa rin yung mga icons, text, and of course, what I'm taking a picture of, kahit na sobrang tirek ng araw. Ngayon, usapan camera naman tayo. This is where the big upgrade goes. I love what Apple did here since the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus gets a 48 megapixels main camera kahit na wala tayong dedicated telephoto camera here. Which is obviously a significant step up from the 12 megapixels that we used to have from the iPhone 14. Kung maalala ko, parang 2015 pa tayo may 12 megapixels, parang sa iPhone 6 yata or 6S. So yes, parang 7 to 8 years na tayong may 12 megapixels. But gusto ko lang linawin that the 48 megapixels that we have for the 15 is different from the Pro models that we have. So kahit na sabi natin para silang 48 megapixels, there is still a difference. The photos are still not as good as what we get on the Pro models dahil we still have a smaller physical sensor and has a different lens with a 26 6mm equivalent field of view. But we get a 2 times zoom mode which is enabled guys by the quad pixel sensor on the main camera. It's very helpful. It's like having a dedicated telephoto camera but not that. It's significantly better guys than the crop outs of 1x photos of the same scene na nakukuha natin sa mga iPhone 14 before. So for you guys to be able to fully utilize the 48 megapixels here on the iPhone 15 Plus, may konting tweaks lang na gagawin sa settings which is, go to the camera menu sa settings, go to formats, and turn on resolution control. By turning this on, you will now get the options sa camera application natin. 
the control for capturing maximum resolution up to 48 megapixels. Because again, if you will not turn this on, by default, it will only take 24 megapixels photos. Also, by turning on this 48 megapixels option or the HEIF, you will not be able to take live photos. Now, aside from its 48 megapixels, another new feature is the ability to turn on every photo into a portrait photo. Siyempre, hindi lang yon changing the focus point then after you've taken the photo. It works well, guys, lalo na sa pag-detect ng mga animals, people, which is very helpful, guys, lalo na if you just wanna cherish the moment and hindi maghanap sa settings before taking the shot. Okay, let's go back to the sample photos again. It is important to note guys, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, that the iPhone 15 and 15 Plus are not the same as the ones on the Pro models kahit na pareha silang mayroong 48 megapixels. Obviously, magkaiba sila ng chipset, which is why yung output ng Pro and Pro Max are a bit more detailed and sharper and a bit more saturated. But selfies on the 15 and 15 Plus are sharp and detailed, which is I know what most of you guys don't really want sa mga bagong iPhones ngayon. I know that iPhones are known to capture realistic photos, even before the 14 and even the 15 series. Habang patagal ng patagal guys, they take it to the next level. At first, you look fine on the screen, pero pag kinapture nyo na, the iPhone will process it and you will look so different from the one that you guys saw before capturing the shot. Which is too much sharpness and too over-processed. Which is why some people still opt for the lower end units of iPhones because of this. But personally naman guys, hindi ako masyadong affected dito, which will not make me choose the lower end models just because of this. But yeah, to each their own. So now in terms of its ultra wide camera, it still is unchanged from the iPhone 14s. It is still 12 megapixels and has 120 degrees field of view. And the app it still lacks autofocus, which is a bit disappointing. So kung gagawa kayo ng mga macro close-up shots, hindi ito possible. Now video recording wise, it is also the same up to 4K 60fps including Dolby Vision HDR pero you can now smoothly zoom to 2 times setting while shooting. And for the cinematic mode naman guys, it lets you shoot 4K at 30fps and zoom in to 3x. Now, in conclusion, ito na. Dami nagtatanong guys kung sulit bang bumili ng iPhone 15 and 15 Plus. Actually, in comparison with the Pro models, itong 15 and 15 Plus only lacks the new A17 Pro chip, slightly capable cameras, and of course, the 120Hz refresh rate. Which is, for me, the three big deals if we were to compare it. But, the iPhone 15 and 15 Plus still wins over in terms of weight, which is obviously this 15 and 15 Plus is lighter, wider choice of colors. Also expect a longer battery life experience since this phone doesn't have the ProMotion display. And obviously, a lot cheaper. Should you buy the iPhone 15 or the 15 Plus? Well, most things in life naman guys, the answer still depends on you. It depends if you already own the iPhone 14 Plus. If that's the case, then there is little reason for you to upgrade. However, of course, if you are coming from the older generation, and want that bigger size and bigger battery life, the iPhone 15 Plus definitely delivers and at a price that is at around $300 less than the Pro Max, you will definitely appreciate the camera upgrades, the dynamic island, the USB-C, and of course, the new colors. So yeah, I hope I was able to answer all your questions, inquiries, <laughs> and everything on all of my social media accounts. And yes, guys, for me, I would also suggest na mag-abang kayo sa authorized resellers natin like Beyond the Box. Usually, pag pre-order, maraming freebies, masulit, may credit card option, and of course, iba yung feeling kapag pinipick up niya sa physical store. So yes, that's basically it. Again, it's your tech, Real Mary, and see you on our next video. Bye!